G'day and welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and our Let's Play series on Beaver Creek. So we've just hit autumn, we're in day one of autumn, so early autumn, and we are going to be very busy. Reason being, I'll show you on the map right now. Um, fields 18, 8 and 13. Let's have a look. What are we on those? Cotton. And they're coming in to ready to harvest. So we need to go prepare and uh, get these crops harvested. Um, it is a big job, literally a big job, and uh, we need to get stuck into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Dodge over to the BGA, grab one of the Macs and head over to the store and purchase some trailers. <clears throat> All right, so this is the day we've been looking for actually. We've been uh, really looking forward to getting some uh, some cotton baling done um, using our big JD cotton harvester um, yes I know I don't use JD but it's the only one we've got um, so we're going to use that and uh, and use some uh, some new trailers that uh, GTX have just updated our wonderful custom road train pack um, has just recently been updated and I was I was lucky enough to be asked to actually test it out I think it's because I'm the one that uses them the most um, because they are the only trailers I use pretty much anyway uh, I, I had the opportun opportunity to, to test them out and uh, they work great because I because uh, the, the boys from GTX mods knew that uh, I had the cotton harvester and and I was doing cotton and I love the custom road train pack so uh, it was a Apparently a pretty good fit. Anyway, so we'll park this here <clears throat> and we'll take the Mac. So we're going to go get some flatbed trailers like I said. Now we are going to get a road train. Um, we're not going to go overboard. We are going to have a B triple effectively. So two A trailers and a B trailer. Uh, if you're not sure what that means, then uh, you'll see very shortly, but the short and the tall of it is effectively the A trailer is always coupled before the B trailer, and the A trailer has a fifth wheel at the back of it. Fifth wheel is what you see on the back of the truck here. It's the attachment for a semi-trailer uh, via a, a pinion connection. Um, and yeah, so then you connect from one A, tra a trailer to either another A trailer or a B trailer. The B trailer is just a standard trailer um, that doesn't have a fifth wheel on the back end. But needless to say, it doesn't mean that it doesn't necessarily end there. You could, some of those B trailers have uh, a standard hitch on the back of it as well. And you could certainly attach a dolly and another semi trailer to the rear of that as well. Um, but in this case, we're just going to purely use the road train. As you can see there, we've got uh, a header attachment, a header trailer for our trailer that we've got that transports our John Deere Combine Harvester. So what we're going to do now is we're going to buy our trailers. That's if we're going to afford them. That will be the next interesting part. Should be okay though. Yeah, we'll be okay. All right. I'm going to go black in color. We're going to go the green wheels to match the uh, the truck. A uh, standard attacher wheel setup will go wide tires, stock parts will be fine, and we'll go the UAL flatbed. Now we're going to buy two of those. Two. Then we're going to buy the A trailer. Now these are customized versions. Um, these are not the ones you would get if you went to the Mod Hub or GTX Mods website. Actually, I think they're in the Mod Hub. I, could, I stand correct, they may not be. Um, but anyway, these are not. This is not a stock standard pack. This has been uh, modified by myself, um, and hence, when you see me using the bulk liquid transport trailers, for instance, they've got uh, my graphics on it, or the SGS graphics, Simulation Gaming Society graphics on it, um, or Eustace, or, or Jerry, or, or whoever. Um, so yeah, so so please don't ask. I won't be distributing those, um, but. Uh, you can get the custom road train pack version 2.1 and uh, you will get all the functionality that I get out of these. Alright, so we take one of the A trailers, we'll hook it up to the B trailer. Hook 
disconnect the A trailer. Connect the other A trailer as the lead, and that will be our B triple. Effectively the same as a B triple, it's not quite a B triple, but anyway. Near enough is good enough. Alright. So then we'll be heading over and uh, hopefully the wet crop condition will clear fairly soon. If not, we may have to accelerate time a little bit. Um, I've got a strange feeling though it's not going to clear very quickly. But uh, that's okay, we can, we can fix that. We have the technology. Alright, so now we have our trailers all configured ready to go. All we need to do now is head over to the field and then get our combine over. <clears throat> so I hope everyone is doing really, really well. Uh, today is the 17th of April. I was about to say February. That would have been a bit out of whack. Um, 17th of April. Uh, you'll be seeing this episode, I think, early May. I think first week of May is when you'll see this episode, um, which is a shame because I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how everyone uh, how everyone reacts to the uh, the cotton harvesting. But uh, that's okay, we, we can deal with that. So we're going to head back down here. We're going to park the the trailers at the uh, northern end of field 18, and uh, we do have to wait for the rest of field 18 to to fully harvest. Uh, f sorry, to fully finish growing. So this uh, western side of it's not quite finished. Um, and we also do need to uh, wait for field 8 to finish as well. But that should be in this game day, hopefully. But we're not going to get it all done in one episode anyway. So that's okay. We can, uh, we can deal with that. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to leave our trailers there. We're going to head over and grab our John Deere and bring it over and uh, position him ready to start. Here he is over here sitting on his transport trailer. Perhaps I should have got a green trailer, but anyway. We've got a green truck, that's close enough. Oh, reverse, not accelerate. Alright, so as you can see it's a very big trailer, it's also a very big combine. So this trailer is um, a Winston trailer, Winston I think it's 3957. Um, he's also the producer of um, a couple of the, uh, the class combine mods I have and I've been playing around with. Um, so uh, yeah very good trailer this one it does lock so you can lock your load on it um, I went through a whole pile of different uh, trailers trying to find one that would not only fit the combine on it um, but that would also lock it in place because uh, this in particular more so than even some of the, the normal combines would slide all over the place as soon as I came to a stop or as soon as I accelerated off so um, no it's a very good trailer it has uh, a couple of different front end attachments, so effectively you make it like a B double, so it has a turning, uh, a turning dolly at the front, or two two dollies actually you, you can use. Um, so yeah, no, it's very good, very good bit of kit. All right, so we're just going to park him down here out of the way, even though it's damaging all this lovely grass. All right. So we'll un actually we can't do that. We'll unlock the load and we'll lower the ramps. And we'll disconnect. And then we'll go and bring the trailers over here a little bit closer so we can be in a starting position. Not that we're gonna need them here, I think we'll need them at the other end first, but uh, we'll bring them over so they're close to the combine. And then as soon as we get rid of the wet crop condition, we can get started. Mm. 
Now I think we've also got, I don't know if I have on this or not, we might have the other JD uh, cotton harvester. There's just a plain harvester that doesn't actually bale. Um, and we tested that out and it's just not as good. So um, if I have got that, if I did buy that, I'll have to um, sell that off. So we'll do that directly. All right. So we can shut him off now. We'll go up here and we'll grab our JD. So it's the John Deere 7760. Start up the engine. We'll raise the header so we can come off the trailer. In position, ready to go. All right. All right. So we shut him off for now. So this is him. Uh, there is no there is no drive control for this or interactive control. Um, it is a very basic. Uh, I mean, look, it's not the highest. Uh, this is from FSASMC. I have done a mod review on this, and I'll link that up in the uh, in the top of the screen now. Uh, it is a very good combine. I mean, some may argue the look of it, the textures of it aren't quite uh, quite right. But you know what? It looks okay to me. I mean, some of the bolts okay. Maybe they're a bit exaggerated. Um, but I can assure you after just recently seeing uh, an online auction here of about uh, 20 of these from two farms that went uh, asunder. Um, it is very, very accurate in its looks. So, but anyway, all right. What we'll do now is we'll just go and have a look. I'm just going to check to make sure I don't have that other one here. 7760. Yes, there's a lot of equipment. No, I don't have it, which is good. I thought I might have bought it, but obviously I didn't. All right, so now what we're going to do is we've got to just wait for the weather, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we are going to accelerate. There we go. All right, pure magic. And we'll jump in him now, get him started. Now, I'm a little bit dubious, though, about the way the drop the, uh, I'm sitting in the cab. I'm not sitting just uh, just standing, but anyway, that's okay. Alright, line ourselves up. Now I'm going to put this on uh, hide hand. It's just a nice simple up and down for this. And we'll see him head off. So it just extends out the bottom, the back of the, uh, the harvester there, and away he goes. And he'll start to... Uh, bale up our cotton. Now you can see the bale starts being produced. So the top yellow bar you'll see as we get closer it starts to grow. Um, it's a step a stepped animation effectively to show the increase in size of the bale. There we go. Um, that's okay. Not everything can be perfect and, and as realistic to life as possible. Alright so what we need to do now is let him go off and do some things. So uh, what we will also do is we'll have a bit of a look. I'm interested to see sugarcane is taking a long time to be ready. Um, but that's okay. We will probably end up harvesting that closer to winter, if not in winter. Um, and remember, we are running the Australian Geo, the South Australian Geo. So if I bring up the Geo there. You can see that when I come down here to sugarcane, uh, we can basically harvest sugarcane any time of the year. Uh, we can plant it in uh, spring, end of autumn, early winter. Um, but as I believe with sugarcane, um, not that I've done a lot of sugarcane yet, it's a perennial, so we don't have to actually re-sow it. It'll just uh, 
it will just be um, regrowing. So uh, that should all be good. All these other crops here, we'll probably do those next time around. We'll do some of those. We'll do some sorghum and some triticale and some spelt and stuff like that, um, just for a bit of variety. But uh, for the moment, we're just going to be waiting for our uh, cotton baler. So I think by now, where is he? Oh, he's halfway down. He might be close to having one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the truck ready. So we have to get our... Turn off the work position. Um, all right. So we want to select cotton bales, 2.4 meters, and that's the change. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. That's the change that was done. The inclusion of the cotton bales uh, in the update to the custom road train pack. Um, so if you haven't got it, certainly go and get it. Like I said, I've done an update mod review, uh, which covers just purely that fact, the fact that it's been updated. Um, because as I said, it is, uh, as I said in the mod review, it's the first mod that I actually reviewed, that we reviewed here on Duxorly um, Gaming. Um, and it's actually the first video we ever did. Um, and it's still one of the most successful videos um, for the channel. Now, um, needs to say, it is, it is also, apart from possibly the class combines, actually no, no, it's had more use than anything else, so it's had the high, highest use out of any other mod that I've used in Farming Simulator 17. Um, so, uh, so yeah, every, every truck pretty much has been running a trailer from the custom road train pack since it's been available. So there you go. Alright, he's off, he's on his way, way back north. And here we have a cotton bale, our first one. It's rolling away. We'll have a fair bit of momentum that will, just the surely the size of it. And we're going to auto pick it up though. Well, we should be. No, we're not. We need to turn the work position on. And there we go. So there we have it. There's our first cotton bale. So the cotton bale is uh, 8,000 litres and it's huge. So the A trailers here will take three cotton bales and the B trailer at the rear will take four. So this truck will take a total capacity of 10 bales, which will be a, um, a total of 80,000 litres of, well effectively 80,000 kilograms I suppose, of cotton. So we'll just uh, turn him around now and park him up here. We're not going to bother going and collecting every bale as it comes out. We are going to head off and see what other work we can get done. Uh, we may well just go and transport some of our production facility stuff around. So we'll shut that. Oops. We'll shut him off and we'll. Uh, We'll tab on over. And, well, I wasn't supposed to show that yet. Oh, tricky, tricky. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just go this way. I don't want to ruin my surprises. All right. Uh, let's go and have a look what we got over here. It's got 10,000 litres of fuel there. 16,000 litres of solid fertilizer. Our digestate is okay. 37,000 litres of liquid manure. Now, this trailer over here is full. And those trailers there, well, one is full of fertiliser. So what we'll do is we'll uh, put some of this stuff into storage. Sorry, I was in a bad position then. Kept on zoning in and out of the building. All right, so what will we do first? What will we do first? Um, we'll take the fertilizer down the farm. Both fertilizers. So we'll take the liquid fertilizer first. <clears throat> In fact, we can take both at the same time. What am I talking about? <clears throat> we can mix and match. So yeah, because we've got, um, so this is what I was talking about, 
about the customization, how I've customized my own uh, bulk vehicle transport trailers. Um, but yeah, so there's no reason why you can't combine them. So there you go, we've got uh, 140,000 litres in the A trailer of, pardon me, of liquid fertiliser and 160,000 litres of solid fertiliser in the B trailer at the rear. Alright, so I'll take these up to the farm, put them in the storage and uh, this will actually be used to refill our cedars and our um, sprayers and all that sort of stuff going forward. So um, there's one of our bales on a bit of a run. I think you do have to watch with that baler. If, if you're running on a, and certainly you'll see it on field eight, that's going to be a bit of a challenge because um, it's on a, a very big slope or very steep slope or reasonably steep um, and uh, they do tend to want to run away from you all right here we are at the farm And we've got to find the right uh, dumping point for them. Probably be helpful if some of this stuff is out of the way. Anyway, uh, fertilizers over here. So I think our offload is inside the shed. Pressing I instead of R. <clears throat> anyway, so we're offloading our solid fertilizer at the moment. Next, if I go in here, no, not quite positioned well enough to do that. Will that just fill it up? Oh, there it goes. Very slow unloading though. That could take some time. Oh, so while it's doing that, we'll go around here. Yeah, very slow input. So we've already got 116,000 litres of uh, fertiliser there. Uh, some seeds. We do need to create some, some more seeds. So basically with the seeds, we'll be doing that. So we put some fertiliser in here. We put some seeds in there. And then uh, it will give us some fertilised seeds to use for planting. Got 30,000 litres in there waiting for us at the moment, and that's all well and good. Our silage bulk liquid transport trailer is sitting there. Don't know why we've left it there. Anyway, um, we've got two trailers over here full of water doing nothing at the moment, so we probably could get rid of those. Now, we do need to get our greenhouses running as well. Um, so, we've filled up the water, uh, but we need to create some manure and some compost to get those up and running. So here's our composter here which we will get running. Um, just have to bring some wheat or grass or whatever we can get into here. So we'll go and have a look. I can't remember if I stored any grass. I don't think we did. Don't think we did. I think we put it all in the fermenter. Uh, no. No, we didn't store any there. That's okay. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. All right. Very, very slow. We'll, uh, down through here. Now, I would have expected, sorry, I was just thinking myself, I would have expected that to, uh, be able to start offloading there. Maybe it wasn't uh, in the correct position. Alright, now I'll take a bit of a pause and we'll be right back. I need to get the dog inside, so uh, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. 
Uh, we're still waiting on this to, uh, to finish. It's taking an awful long time. What we're going to do is while we're waiting, we're just going to come around here and move these tractors out of the way. And we obviously left them there after uh, refilling them. Part them a little bit better out of the way. Not perfect, but we'll leave it there for now. Does that walk? Uh, all right. Still not quite finished. I wonder if it's because. Yes, that's why. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was only because it had the, uh, the partial door open set, but uh, no, it's just a very slow feed trigger. Alright. Hallelujah, we're finished. We'll bring him out and see if we can offload this liquid fertiliser. Hmm. It doesn't unload at all. I know it used to work. Um, certainly before the last lot of updates it worked. again. So the tip sides are right. It doesn't work this time, then I'll uh, park the trailer here and I'll sort this out off camera. Nope, something wrong there. Anyway, all right, so we'll leave that there. We'll uh, head back over here and we'll collect some bales. I'm not sure what's going on there. As you can see, we've got a bale running off over there. A bale down there. Let's go collect a couple of these bales then, shall we? All right, so we're not gonna go through there and collect that one because um, it will destroy our crop. So uh, we'll leave that one for a little bit later. So we'll collect this little bale down here. And then we'll head down up to the north and end of the field and see what's up that end. Now, is he still rolling? Can't tell. Yeah, he's still rolling. So we'll, we'll have time to go up the other end then come back. We'll probably go off the field by then. <clears throat> yeah, so it's it's a good thing, good enjoyable thing to be uh, tooting our cotton bales. Um, it's a very Australian uh, crop, I mean, uh, out, out the middle of the, uh, the farming area, especially in uh, rural New South Wales and Perth, um, so WA, um, you see uh, the cotton farmers, but uh, yeah, it's just nice to have uh, something that's a little bit closer to home, and of course the, uh, the custom road train pack is an Australian product too. So there you go. Alright, so pick this one up down here. Make sure I've set the trailer to pick it up. Which we have. Alright. Watch the trees. Timing, he's dropped another one just up here for us. 
So finishing this run, if we get the one down the bottom end of the field, the southern end of the field, that will be uh, a half full trailer. So we'll have, actually that'll be better than that because this is our fifth now. And it's counted yet again. Um, it will be our sixth. Four to go, and then we've got to go and find a place to store these. So we may <clears throat> we may have to use one of the uh, buildings at the farm, uh, or one of the other buildings around the location, the vicinity, because um, we haven't got. A, I don't think we've got a barn built down in the biogas area where I had this park, had the the combine parked. Uh, we need to put these into storage. Unless, of course, our uh, price is really high at the moment, but I don't believe it is. And obviously we're going to need to get um, either a tractor with some forks or a, uh, a telehandler in and uh, stack these up because uh, they're too big to sort of have them sitting out uh, on their own individually uh, and we need to maximize our storage capacity so we'll certainly do that all right well that'll be another episode for that uh, that 30 minutes has gone flying by um, but there you have it so the cotton harvest is in full swing uh, great fun great fun it really is so uh, again i'd like to thank uh, gtx mods crew for uh putting out the update for the uh, custom road train pack which it has enabled us to do this the, the option we had to do this otherwise was not anywhere near as uh, as uh, neat we shall say um, but yeah no, fantastic so uh, thanks very much for watching don't forget to check out the simulation gaming society uh, come and join myself Eustace Farmer and Jerry the Grizzly Bear Sims uh, for some fun and frivolity um, and uh, we certainly look forward to seeing you back here on Beaver Creek when we come back to continue on this epic cotton harvest. So this is Dr. Dr. Gaming wishing you a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening or night, no matter where you are in the world. Look after yourselves and your loved ones and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye.